I can see a head now. Like birth? I was <laughs> just thinking that. <laughs> the mind is giving birth to a beautiful baby girl. And what a babe. I thought I'd pull up onto this road and get right into it. Thank you so much for joining us today on Minor 49. Er, I, I guess the whole thing is Minor 49er, huh? But uh, yeah, if we can get past the barbed wire, yeah. this is gonna be a, a potentially really good mine. Holy cow. Kidding me? <laughs> Don't worry though. We've got more mines in the area we're going to explore, so we'll, tack, we'll attach those to this video. But even though it's a short mine, it is pretty cool. You don't see them this wide very often. There's something sticking out the ceiling? Yeah, a couple of things. All right, so I think we're gonna leave the car here anyway uh, and head on out. But like I said, there's more to explore in this area. So we will bring you along. Let me give you a sneak peek of what's coming up. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but right through those trees, we've got structure. From what I'm betting, there's a very large abandoned mine in the middle of this godforsaken desert. Okay, maybe not godforsaken. I mean, it's beautiful in its own right. But, uh, yeah. It's a bit on the large side. Let me just check out that ore chute. I don't even think that's a hopper. I think that's just a huge ore chute. This is the part of the day where I get sunburned because I didn't wear my hat. I guess it is a hopper. Just a very steep hopper. Well, that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, that is awesome. All right, we're gonna make our way up and around and up. And when we find that mine, we'll uh, bring you back. Well, this isn't the main part by any means, but Looks like this used to be something. Not much though, at least not anymore. You all right there? Yep. It's going down that and slipped out from under me. Ah. So here's the top of that ore chute and bin. Man, has it got a good view. Holy cow. Check that out. That is gorgeous. But that's gorgeous too. <laughs> that is also gorgeous. Let's go see if we can get in there, shall we? Hopefully this won't be a dud like the other one. Well, for what it's worth, there's a lot of cool air, cold air, yeah. breezing out of this thing. Holy cow. So, 
I think it's safe to say two things. A, it goes deep, and B, there's an ore chute coming from above. A glove. Two. Oh yeah, there are two. There's also a pan or yeah. a can. Pink can, it looks like. Man, it's cold. That breeze is cold. Okay, we are at 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which I think is around 25. 24, oh, so close, degrees Celsius. So we're gonna see just how much that changes. Another glove. Boy, you guys are getting the wind treatment today, holy cow. Yeah. I hope it's not too bad on the, man, that is cold. Uh -huh. That is so cold. <laughs> I might have to roll down my sleeves on this one. Not often we get into mines where we feel the breeze this strong. No, it's not. I mean, we've had maybe one other, but then when we passed the ore chute, it died. Oh yeah, she goes back there, guys. She goes back there. Whew. There are upper levels to this mine. I do know that because we saw the waste rock piles from below. The question just is, Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Doesn't go very far. No, it doesn't go very far at all. Well, that's odd. Oh, you're blocking the breeze. That feels nice. <laughs> I mean, that's a significant blockage. Why did they do that, guys? Why did, why did they do that? There's nothing over there. I mean, I don't even think there's a shaft. Yeah, they did do it over here. Do you think these connected at one point? It almost looks like maybe it was like a bridge. A or bridge, yeah. I mean, a, a golf cart, <laughs> a mine or cart a could go underneath it. And these do look like they could have been sawn. But Looks why would they want, why, why would they have a bridge here, I wonder? Because there really isn't anything in here. Yeah. Huh. Put your uh, guesses down in the comments below, guys. All right, so we got a, a split. You guys know how I feel about splits. Normally we stay to the right, but there is no right, so we're just gonna um, go straight. There's a ring for a barrel of some sort. Uh, well, maybe a bucket to keep the lid on. A bumpy mine. Here's a cart rail, and then some ventilation tubing, it looks like. A lot of it. Mm -hmm. Well, they definitely didn't need it in here. <laughs> I'm kidding, they did once they dynamite or drill or whatever, it gets pretty Dusty, yeah. Check out those bumps. They tore, up, my guess is they tore up the crossbars for the track. That's the only thing that makes sense here. Yeah, oftentimes they'll take out the track and they'll take out the, the whatever they're called, cross pieces or whatever, uh, so they can reuse them in different mines. They were searching for gold here. I do know that much about this mine, but I don't know the name of it or, or much else. Other than that it really goes back. I got a blockage up ahead though. Oh, it's cold still. The breeze. Yeah. We have not hit the stope, the, not stope, the chute yet, so. No, that's not it. 
but there's a rod. drill bit in there. Drill rod. Okay, there's our ore chute. Wow, this is messy. Mm -hmm. that, can we open a cart or something else? Could be a cart wheel. But here's where our breeze is coming from. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Holy cow. Oh, check that out. Hey. Yeah. That's a hole. I do not see daylight, but it's a big old hole. Oh, we got water dripping. Yeah. It's oozing. It's probably why all this fell. Probably. All that that Mrs. 49er is stepping on, that little ring there, is collapsed from this section of earth here. You can see the drips coming down. Yeah. All right, you guys, we will uh, meet with you back up at that junction and explore the left drift. Okay, here's that drift that goes off to the left. But before we go much farther down, I want to check the temperature again. We are now at 53 degrees. I haven't been that cold in a long time inside of a mine. 53 degrees, I'm going to guess 11 degrees Celsius. Ah, <laughs> right on the money. Look at that. 53. We might get down to 50. Don't feel a breeze. Yeah, there's still a breeze on this one. Hey, oh, hey. It's very echoey too, compared to that last one. Got a wire on the left. Yeah, there's another one here. I don't know if you guys. Yeah, there it is. Don't move them. Yeah. These were here to uh, connect either lighting or ventilation tubing or the like. Well, here's our. Shoot. Our, our ore shoot. Oh, it's got a ladder too. I gotta almost make it up that. Well, maybe I will. We'll have to see how I feel when we get back. There's a, there is a platform up there. It means it might go to another level. Two paths diverged in a mine, and I, I took the right one because we always go right. Another shoot. Two of them, one on either side. Oh, and it keeps going. Can't see much there, but this way, it keeps going, ladies and gentlemen. So will we. At least we'll try. We still got tracks on this side. He makes it look easier than it is. <laughs> well, I didn't say it was easy. No, but you make it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. So these are the uh, ends of tubing. But that, high explosives, danger. Uh, Wilmington, I think. I'm not sure what that is. That's modern-ish. I don't know what that is. That's weird. <laughs> Well, we're going to leave it. 
We got airflow back here too. Ooh. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. goes up and it goes back but it faces out right there so we're not gonna go back there but I'll go up I'll try to go up without knee pad like I said I'll try to go up Oh yeah. Okay. This leads up higher. I'm gonna go up. Yes. You wanna come with me? Okay, it's not gonna be easy, but uh Give me a minute and then come on up. Go ahead and come up into this first section and then I'll let you decide if you want to come up farther. I'm worried about sliding on this part, but at the same time, it's not like I'm sliding very far, so I'm not too concerned about it. This is cool though. You keep sliding down? Yes. Yeah. yeah, me too. You're slowly making your way though. I don't feel like I am. Oh yeah. I can see a head now. Is it like birth? I was just thinking that. <laughs> the mind is giving birth to a beautiful baby girl. And what a babe. Whew. All right. Ooh. I might be sliding down in a hurry, honey. So, uh, you know, watch it. Oh, wow. All right, how can I do this without sliding down? That's quite the area. Oh. Keeps going over here. But who knows how far down there it goes. This is cool, you guys. Boy, I brought you guys a good mind this week. But uh, as much as I'd like to take the credit for it, this is just the luck of the draw, really. Because we never know what we're going to get when we take these roads. You've seen that. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We were just over there. Look, I see a light. It goes up, but it's not tunnel. It's, it just stopes out. I'm going to put my flashlight away, though, and use my headlamp. I want to be able to use my hand for climbing. Oh, 
No, it doesn't. I think that's about it, actually. I mean, there's a bit over there. Looks like it's a platform, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot to suggest we should keep going. You might get some rocks coming down in a hurry, so be careful. All right, good. For whatever it's worth, I'm coming down. Right. Yep, that just happened. <clears throat> to get over here. Yep. How about staying down? <laughs> It's all about good handholds, coupled with good footholds, yeah. and those are sometimes hard to find, mm -hmm. especially here. I think we're home free though, guys. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's get out of here, shall we? Okay. Is this like reverse birth then? <laughs> That stoked out area was pretty cool though. I'll be honest with you guys, a part of me wants to make this a two part video that I'm just gonna give you the whole thing. It means it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I know, still no knee pads <laughs> like 60 bucks for the ones I want to get two pair one for Trace, um, Mrs. 49er and one for myself <sighs> okay while she is making her way through we're going to inspect this section <sighs> you got a ladder right here I can go up that. Don't know what we'll get to. I can climb the ladder for this short distance. What? Oh, geez. Take a look at that up there. And then. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel good about crossing that. But yeah, more stoped out areas. All right, coming back down this very rickety ladder that I normally wouldn't climb, but it's such a short drop. If I fall, I feel okay about it. Uh, possibly. It faces out there, probably. Uh, let me check, hold on. Yeah, this face is out here. Man, it's cold.
cold in here. 49 degrees. What, eight, nine degrees Celsius? Yeah, nine degrees Celsius. Jeez Louise. That is cold. Okay, it's looking like we're facing out over here too. I'll be right back. Unless you want to come in. Is it worth going into? I don't know. Oh, goes up a little bit. I think that just stops you guys. I'm, I'm not gonna continue up. I think it just stops. So we'll scooch back down. Yep. And return to the missus. Plus, I'm getting a stale air vibe in here. And I don't really want to hang around too much longer. All right, coming through. Whoa, that thing moved. The ladder? No, that beam. Mm -hmm. Whoa. What a mine. Holy tamales. Let me get my headlamp on and we shall attempt anyway. To climb up here. ladder seems fairly stable <laughs> fairly stable I mean it's a ladder in an old mine <sighs> trying to give you guys a good view well, at the same time being able to climb How you doing, honey? But the fact that there's a ladder built in here suggests, yeah, another level, maybe. That's looking down into the ore chute. Okay, so it's as far this way as it goes. How far that way does it go? Watch out! You all right? Yeah, I'm being there. Good. Sorry. <sighs> Dangers everywhere, you guys. Freak. the ladder. Not going down that though. Man, 
They stopped out everywhere. Everywhere. Oh. Oh, I know where we are. This is where we used to be. This is where we used to be, you guys. We've been here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Made a little circuit. All right, I'm getting ready to come down. You can see the light from her lamp down there. She's being a, a trooper. I know I've been on this ladder before, so that's a little easier. That makes it a little easier. But it's still... Oh, that was a big step. Three points of contact all the time. What did you say? That's okay. <laughs> she said she's not planning on catching me. I think I'm okay with that. Am I on the last rung? Oh, I think I am. You guys came for the view, right? Yep. I wasn't talking to you, honey. Oh, there's a little nail there. It is cold in here. I mean, I'm sweating, but that's just because of what I've been doing. Now we're not at 49 anymore. We're 48. Because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Deep, dark, dank, abandoned mine. We got all the Ds. Triple Ds. <sighs> you can almost walk side by side in this mine. Yeah. Can't do that very often. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Can't do that very often at all. It's very rare. Oh my goodness. This is big, man. This one is. So that one's connected up ahead? Up above? Yeah, it connected to that other stoped out area I explored. Okay. It was fun. I'm walking along like, huh, that ladder looks familiar. Walked along a little bit further. Huh, that hole looks familiar. All right, guys, a couple of things. A, the wind is blowing from that direction, which means that's not the way home. And B, you can just barely make out light. I mean, just barely. So just a couple indicators as to which direction to go. Typically, wind does not go into an abandoned mine at it with a portal like this. Usually, it goes down shafts. Right. Yep. Turning right. We always go right until we go left. I'm seeing four gloves in here, though. Four, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a lot of gloves. Well, you guys, I hope this was worth it to you because it sure as heck was worth it to me. I mean, it's going to make for a long video, I know, but 
This was a cool mine. This was a very cool mine. <laughs> oh, you lolly. Very cool mine. Yeah, can we come into the out now where it's warm? <laughs> no joke. 48 degrees. I think that's the coldest I've ever been inside an abandoned mine. I, I really can't think of another mine that I've been in that was that cold. Can you? Nope. Wow. Well, you guys, that was cool. That was very cool. I'm blind. I know, that's why face is I'm either blind or in the dark, so... <laughs> oh, whatever. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on Miner 49er. Please share this video with those you know would enjoy them as well. And I will see you on the next one. <laughs>